Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the dead peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, Amen, Amen. Lord, please help me. Lord, I have come to you to keep me safe. Never let me be become ashamed. You always do what is right, so please save me. Listen to me and quickly send help to me. Lord, be a rock where I can hide. Be a strong place to keep me safe. You are my high rock and my strong place. Because of your good name, lead me and be my guide. Hallelujah. You are the place where I can hide, so keep me safe. Do not let my enemy's traps catch me. Do not let my enemy's traps catch me. I put my life into your hands i know that you will save me lord because you are a god that i can trust i hate people who worship useless idols as for me i trust in the lord hallelujah amen let us pray the prayer of preparation Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. I am very happy because of your faithful love. You see when I have pain. You know when I am very upset. You have not put me under the power of my enemies. You have led me into an open place where I can be safe. Lord, I am very upset, so please be kind to me. My eyes are tired because I weep so much. My whole body has become very weak. 
I am near to death because I am so sad. I am crying with pain as my life comes to an end. I have so much trouble that I have no strength at all. Even my bones have become weak. All my enemies hate me, my friends insult me. Everyone who knows me is afraid of me. They run away when they see me in the street. Everybody has forgotten about me. I might as well be dead. They think that I am useless like a broken plate. The Bible, Matthew 18, part 15 to 20, correcting another believers. If your brother and sister in God's family does something wrong, go and tell them what they did wrong. Do this when you are alone with them. If they listen to you, then you have helped them to be your brother and sister again. But if they refuse to listen, go to them again and take one or, one or two people with you. Then there will be two or three people who will be able to tell all that happened. If they refuse to listen to them, tell the church. And if they refuse to listen to the church, treat them as you would treat one, someone who does not know God or who is a tax collector. I can assure you that when you speak judgment here on earth, it will be God's judgment. And when you promise forgiveness here on earth, it will be God's forgiveness. To say it another way, it if two of you on earth agree on anything you pray for, my Father in heaven will do what you ask. Yes, if two or three people are together believing in me, I am there with them. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle. Romans 8, part 31 to 39. Nothing can separate us from God's love. So what should we say about this? If God is for us, no one can stand against us. And God is with us. He even let his own son suffer for us. God gave his son for all of us. So now with God, with Jesus, God will surely give us all things. Who can accuse the people God has chosen? No one. God is the one who makes them right. Who can say that God's people are guilty? No one. Christ Jesus died for us, but that is not all. He was also raised from dead, and now he is at God's right, right side, speaking to him for us. Can anything separate us from Christ's life? Can trouble or problems or persecution separate us from his love? If we have no food, or clothes, or face danger, or even death, will that separate us from his love? As the scriptures say, for, for you we are in danger of death all the time. People think we are worth no more than sheep to be killed, but in all these troubles we have complete victory through God who has shown his love to us. Yes, I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love, not death, life, angels, or ruling spirits. I am sure that nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, 
nothing above us or nothing below us nothing in the whole created world will ever be able to separate us from the love God has shown us in Christ Jesus our Lord this is the word of Jesus thanks be to God hallelujah 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 gospel john 14 part 1 to 14 jesus the way out to the father jesus said don't be troubled trust in god and trust in me there are many rooms in father's house I would not tell you this if I, it were not true. I am going to, the, to prepare a place for you. After I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back. Then I will take you with me so that you can be where I am. You know the way to the place where I, can, I, I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. If you really know me, you, know, you would know my Father too. But now you know the Father. You have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father. That is all we need. Jesus answered, Philip, I have been with you for a long time, so you should know me. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father too. Why do you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. The things I have told you don't come from me. The Father lives in me, and He is doing His own work. Believe me, when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or believe because of the miracles I have done, anybody who believes in me will do the same things I have done. And they will do even greater things than I have done because I am going to the Father. And if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it for you. Then the Father's glory will be shown through the Son. If you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. Glory be to you, O Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I hear what my people are saying against me. News from everywhere makes me afraid. They are deciding together how to kill me. But I continue to trust you, Lord. I say you are my God. You are the one who decides what will happen to me in the future. Save me from the power of my enemies and from the people who want to catch me. Turn toward me, your servant, and be kind to me. Keep me safe because of your faithful life. Lord, do not let me become ashamed. I am calling out to you for help. Cause evil people to become ashamed. Let them go to their graves and be silent there. May people that tell lies become silent. They speak against people who serve you. They are proud people and they boast about themselves. Preaching When you need God's blessing, pray these prayers. 
Father God, I come to you today on bended knees. I ask for your forgiveness for my sins. How faithful and steadfast is your love. I see the many blessings and works of your hands. I pray for my outpouring of blessings in my life. How great you are. Send your angels to God over me today. Protect me from the enemy's evil ways. Speak to me in a new way. Let me hear your voice. Renew my soul. Refresh my mind. Heal my body. Take away my pain. Mend my broken heart. By your strips in I will be healed. Cover me with the precious blood of Jesus. Cleanse my soul and fill me with peace. Change my life and fulfill your purpose in me. I praise and rejoice in your name. Thank you for your con unconditional and infinite love. Lead me down the road you have perfectly planned for me. I will follow you wherever I go for the rest of my days. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Let me never take that granted. You promised to be the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you, Father, for always been spending time with me. I lay all of my worries at your feet. In you I trust. In you I will succeed in f whatever I do today. Pour over me your sp supernatural blessings. Let miracles come my way. For you are God who makes impossible possible. Amen. Decreed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Plate, this, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You have prepared many good things to bless people who respect you. While everyone watches, you bless those who come to you for help. You give them a place to hide and you keep them safe with you. When their enemies want to attack them, they take care of them. When their enemies speak lies against them, they are safe with you. Praise the Lord when my enemies were all around me. He showed me that his faithful love is very great. When I was afraid, I said, God is no longer with me, but I spoke too soon. When I called to you for help, you heard me and you answered me. Love the Lord, 
all you, you people who belong to him if people serve the Lord truly he keeps them safe but if people are proud he punishes them as they deserve all you people who trust the Lord to help you you should be strong and very brave hallelujah amen prayers of intercessions we pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace thanks Lord hearing and answering our prayers we pray for all poor countries give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food thanks Lord hearing and answering our prayers we pray for sick people please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you thanks Lord hearing and answering our prayers Amen the peace we are the body of Christ in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life the peace of the Lord be always be with you Amen preparation of taking the bread and wine you must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this bread to set before you which earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life blessed be with God blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this wine to set before you fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become for us the cup of salvation Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your 
right hand of high through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions therefore we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Accept our praises, Heavenly Father Through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ and as we follow his example and obey his command grant that by the power of your holy spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in membranes of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord amen Christ is risen Christ will come again amen accept through him our great high Lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen the lord's prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen if you are many break the bread and share with each other though we are many we are one body because we all share in one bread 
son of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crum the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and that we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Tell God about your sins. When God has forgiven someone's sin, they are truly happy. They may have turned against God, but they, when they forgive them, when God forgives them, they are happy. They may have done something bad, but when the Lord says, not guilty, He has truly blessed them. They are happy because they no longer try to hide their sins. When I said nothing to God about my sin, my whole body became weak. I cried all the time because of the pain. In the day and in the night, you punished me with pain. It seemed like the hot sun was taking away my strength. Then I told you about my sins. I did not try to hide the bad things that I have done. I said, I will tell the Lord about the things that I have done against Him. When I did that, you forgave my sins. Because of that, all your own people should pray to you. They should do it while they, they still have the chance. Then when danger comes to them like a river of deep water, they will still be safe. Hallelujah. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God my presence for the love of God and my future of God's protection. Amen.